morning i am deva sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about small signal analysis of common emitter amplifier this topic is present in the subject electronic circuits 1 let us start discussing about small signal analysis of common emitter amplifier figure a shows the common emitter amplifier with voltage divider biasing here the signal source is coupled into the base of the transistor through the coupling capacitor c suffix c the coupling capacitor provides dc isolation between the amplifier and the signal source common emitter amplifier with voltage divider biasing circuit is shown below in this diagram the input is applied to the base of the common emitter amplifier and the output is obtained at the collector terminal of the common emitter amplifier emitter terminal is common to both input and output the resistors r1 r2 forms the voltage divider biasing the capacitor c suffix c is acting as a coupling capacitor and C suffix B is a bypass capacitor. This is indicated in the diagram. The DC transistor biasing is provided by R1, R2 and RE resistors. It is indicated in the diagram. An emitter bypass capacitor C suffix E is connected in parallel with the emitter resistance RE in order to provide a low reactance path to the amplified ac signal if c suffix c is not inserted the amplified ac signal passing through the resistor r suffix e will cause a voltage drop across it this will reduce the output voltage hence reducing the gain of the amplifier the coupling capacitor c suffix 2 couples the output of the amplifier to the load or to the next stage of the amplifier it blocks dc and passes only ac part of the amplified signal figure b shows small signal equivalent circuit of common emitter amplifier for ac analysis the capacitors are assumed to be short circuit and dc sources are shorted figure b shows the small signal equivalent circuit of the common emitter amplifier the diagram is represented here in this diagram the bgt is replaced by a hybrid pi model the input is applied to the base terminal and the output is obtained at the collector terminal for ac analysis all the capacitors are considered to be short circuited and the dc sources is also short circuited this is not indicated in this diagram we are going to obtain the derivation for the input resistance r suffix i input resistance r suffix i is derived with the help of the figure b looking at the figure b we have r suffix i is equal to the parallel combination of r1 parallel r2 parallel r pi this parallel combination is indicated in the figure b we are going to obtain the derivation of the voltage gain a suffix v the voltage gain a suffix v is calculated or derived as follows for calculating the voltage gain we have to look the figure b from the figure b we have the output voltage v0 is equal to minus gm v pi into r0 parallel rc the minus sign indicates that the current flowing in the circuit is opposite to that of the output current and gm v pi is the current source and r0 Uh, parallel rc is the parallel combination of the resistor r0 and rc with the help of the voltage divider rule at the input side we have the value of the v suffix pi is equal to the parallel combination of 
R1 parallel R2 parallel R pi divided by the parallel combination of R1 parallel R2 parallel R pi plus R suffixes into V suffixes where V suffixes is the supply voltage. Substituting the value of V suffix pi from the equation 3 into equation 2 we have the output voltage V0 is equal to minus Gm into R0 parallel RC into R1 parallel R2 parallel R pi divided by R1 parallel R2 parallel R pi plus R suffixes into Vs. Therefore, the voltage gain A suffix V is equal to the ratio of output voltage by the input voltage. The output voltage is represented as V0 and the input voltage is represented as Vs. That is V0 by Vs is equal to minus Gm into R0 parallel Rc into R1 parallel R2 parallel R pi divided by R1 parallel R2 parallel R pi plus R suffix S. Yes. Now we are going to obtain the derivation for the output resistance R0. For obtaining the output resistance R0, we have to consider the figure C. Figure C shows the small signal equivalent circuit to determine the output resistance R0. Here, the independent source V suffix S is set to 0. Since there is no excitation to the input portion of the circuit, the value of the V suffix pi is equal to 0. This is represented in the figure C. Figure C shows small signal analysis of common emitter amplifier in order to determine the output resistance or not. The diagram is indicated here. In this diagram, we have set the independent source Vs to 0. Due to this, the value of V pi is equal to 0. Because the value of V pi is 0, the current source Gm V pi is considered to be 0. And we have to calculate the output resistance or not. For calculating the output resistance or not, we have connected a source Vx at the output side. V suffix is, is present in the diagram at the output side. This is indicated in this diagram. As a result, Gm V suffix pi is equal to 0. That is, the current source Gm V suffix pi is considered to be an open circuit. Thus, the output resistance looking back into the output terminals is given by R0 is equal to V suffix x divided by I suffix x. This is nothing but the parallel combination of R0 parallel R suffix C. Here, V suffix x is an applied test voltage in order to measure the test current I suffix S. Yes.